We're continuing to follow some shakeups at the Washoe County School District. That's right. Just yesterday it was announced that Superintendent Tracy Davis is taking a leave of absence and two top officials are no longer employed at the district either. Now this is David Lasik, Chief of Staff and Byron Green, Chief Student Services Officers. Uh, a lot of you have asked us to take a look into this. We sent Landon Miller out to look for answers. Landon, what did you find out? Nothing. From the school district, they said that there were no updates today, which is kind of understandable in a situation like this sometimes. So we decided to go to the homes of the people involved. Here is the home of Chief of Student Services Officer Dr. Byron Green and Chief of Staff David Lasik. They live together here and I rang the doorbell, saw two people inside, but there was no answer. We then went to an apartment unit to try to find Tracy Davis. So we just made it to Spanish Springs to the address where Tracy Davis lives and we were shocked to see a U-Haul truck in the driveway with movers taking things out. Look at this box right here. It says Tracy's closet dresses. There's a bike and more. I asked the crew where the truck is going. They told me they don't know. I live there. She lives there. I've never seen her before. I also showed some pictures of Tracy Davis to neighbors to see if they could recognize her. Here's the picture here. Do you, do you know who this person is? I don't know who this person is. I've never seen her before. You know she's your neighbor, right? She's my neighbor, but I've never seen her come out of this house before. And you've lived here for how long? One year. We've never seen anyone, anyone come or go. And you might be asking yourself, Landon, did you go to the right Tracy Davis's house? And that is a very fair question. According to public records, a Tracy Davis lives in that unit. And we also want to point out we don't know where that U-Haul truck is going. It could be staying in town, could be going somewhere else. We, we just don't know. But for now, we're covering the story live in the newsroom. Landon Miller, 2 News.